My name is Mike. Welcome to the Backyard Machine Shop. Well, we'll start another project. We're going to put this Famco number three arbor press back in service and we need to do a few things to it. Um, plan is, and we're going to strip it down, uh, take this heavy beast off the table outside, clean it up, paint it, and reassemble, make the necessary adjustments and put it back in service. When I was thinking of this project, I was, I got, I have a little table that, uh, that actually I thought about setting it on, but, um, as you can see here, I got this, this nice drill press base and column that the 17 inch drill press that I redone was mounted on. And my idea is I'm going to take this this uh, arbor press and make a mount and we're going to combine it with this base and have a freestanding unit. So that's the, that's the goal for right now. A uh, little history about FAMCO back to VintageMachinery.org uh, Mr. Keith Rucker's site looked up the company they didn't have a whole lot about the about the arbor presses, which they're pretty simple machines, but a little history of the company. It says this firm traces its roots back to N.P. Fry's foundry established just south of Racine, Wisconsin by Peter Fry's. Uh, and then it goes on to say that, uh, that the company was purchased in 1927 by Mr. Herman Knoll and um, he named it Famco Machine. Uh, excuse me, Famco Machine Company. I doubt there was a dot com back then. Um, anyway, basically, what Famco stands for is Fries and Miller Company. So, little history about them. Uh, in 1968, they sold their at one point, they made everything. I've seen where they made um, milling machines, drill presses, band saws, uh, they, you know, a whole line of machine tools. And in um, 1968, they sold their machine tool, their drill presses and machine tool products to Continental Machine of Minnesota, which is Dual. So if you want a Dual machine, it's roots trace back to to Fry's and Miller Machine Company in the Famco uh, brand. So just a little history. Uh, I was able to pull up a catalog and from the catalog I got a, there's a few pictures so I can I can kind of compare. Um, let's see number three Arbor Press. Uh, Weighs in 160 pounds. Yep, that's I I I I'd say that's about right. And uh, I guess it's a three-ton press, and it gives you the details of how much you know the, the capacities and things. And they made this press in two models. They made it with a flat surface and with a bolster. And uh, so this one's got a bolster, but somebody is. Has actually mounted a plate into it, and um, we're gonna get rid of that. Maybe make a bolster plate. Looking at the press, I know it needs a couple of things. Uh, one, it needs a new new handle. Um, this one's bent. I'm not gonna try to straighten it. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna whack it off and make a new handle for it. Uh, not sure. What else it needs? It's a little stiff, so I know it needs some adjustment. But basically, it's going to be straight up project. I'm going to paint it, make it look nice, mount it to a nice base, have it painted up nice, get it functional, and uh, and, and, and put it in the shop. So stay with me, and we'll we'll take this thing apart and see what we can do.
start off, we're just going to take this plate off. And um, take the arbor out. A little trip over to the rag bag. Nothing like having kids around, young girls. They're always going through clothes. So always got plenty of shop rags. I think this was going to come off. Well, it ain't off yet.
what I've done, I've mixed a little uh, automatic transmission fluid and some acetone uh, and, and put it down inside the, the threaded holes here. Hopefully it'll you know, get in there and help break those, uh, those two little bolts loose. Uh, fix and take apart, take the, the, the pin out of this arbor and, um, and then we're going to take and saw this piece off and uh, plan on making a new, new handle. So other than that, it's pretty much disassembled. Uh, just have to get this heavy thing outside and start cleaning it up and painting it. Shouldn't take too long. Uh, we'll come back tomorrow and check on these bolts. We'll let them sit overnight. I'll come back out here before I go to work today and, and squirt them down again. Well, while I'm sitting here, I'm going to take this off. If we can't get this pin out. Yeah, that didn't take much effort. That's the way it goes sometimes. Easy, sometimes it's hard. So, anyway, to the next episode. Um, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment. I really appreciate the subscribers. So, uh, see you later.